Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron and this is the 24th of July 2015 Genesis Models show. Um, and we're also in the uh, Hurricane and Spitfire week, which I've been working on this week. Um, I've got episode two up there on the uh, on the website. Now, you know, I've been going through the whole cockpit thing with this and I wanted to do the whole, um, let's do a basic cockpit and with the second build, let's do an advanced one. So the Hurricane, you know, got all that basic cockpit done, which I've done it as easy as you possibly could get it really, but it be effective at the same time. Um, with the Spitfire, we're going to go totally advanced and I'm going to throw loads and loads of techniques in there um, even though it probably doesn't need it but the whole idea is to show you loads of different advanced techniques with that Spitfire cockpit. Um, so hopefully you're going to look forward to that and I might even get another episode up for next week as well because of the holiday and, and those kind of things. Um, as you may notice just behind me got all your trophies um, you know ready to ship out. Um, sadly I'm having a problem with getting those badges done uh, my supplier seems to be taking a very long time and i'm yeah you know to be totally honest i'm not sure if they can actually do it or not because they don't normally do that sort of thing um, but hopefully i'll get an answer out of them um, i've got a backup plan just in case they don't all it means really is um you know things are being delayed on the whole postage side um my end sadly but it's um sadly out of my control but as soon as those patches are done and sorted um you know i'll be sending out your prizes your trophies is um, and everything all over the world and whatnot. Um, as for the big Top Gun trophy, um, sadly I haven't finished it, but um, I have brought all the the, the little um, ribbons and got stuff engraved and everything to go on there. And uh, yeah, I'd rather show it you when it's actually finished. But um, fingers crossed, I'll get it done before I go on holiday um, and get our uh, first Top Gun. Uh, what was it VDB07? Um, VD, uh, that's it, VDB076. Um, which is our first Top Gun to get engraved on that big trophy there. Um, so, done a bit of shopping this week and I came across Games Workshop. Love them or hate them. Um, and I, do, I like to go in there basically just for their paint range because I'm a real sucker for the Citadel paint range. And um, they've brought out two new paints which I would like to do a nice quick mini product review. Um, for you right now. Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be having a product review of um, some of Games Workshop's um, new Citadel paints, and that is our um, Retributor Armor and our Liberator Gold. Um, some nice new paints here, boy. Um, Games Workshop for 2015. Um, now, with these paints, um, basically the whole reason right round it is. Um, their gold paints that they have in their collection um, and they say are not quite gold-ish so basically they've come along and they've sort of gone off and done a really nice cool even more golder natural metal finish and um, they are water-based so you know non-toxic and all that stuff um, so what we're going to do I'm just going to you know, have a quick product review of these, give them a, a quick test um, now what I'm going to do is it's always good to you know prime whatever it is you're doing black when it comes to um, metallic type paints it's always a good good primer to start off with now um, you can brush these on but I'm, I'm air brushing them on um, I do use um, the Genesis models homebrew thinners you know there's a nice little product review um, a tutorial on that on the Genesis models website um, but yeah 50 50 mix does it normally quite well about 20 psi and we can just nicely check our flow first spray this on right now as we first put this on right you know it's always good to go nice and light and lightly build it up right and then we want to sort of cut to air by just pressing down the trigger dry this off and then we can sort of do a normal lightish coat right and what we want to do here is then just plain and simply 
keep doing a light coat just like that you can cut to air until it's dry and put however many layers that you need to put on until we get this with some good good coverage um, but the cool thing is about metal paints type thing is um, you can actually sort of depending on what effects you want to go for you could leave it like that and have it at different intensities to get sort of different effects but I'm gonna give this some good coverage and show you um, you know how goldy it looks so there's the gold now nice coverage on there and hopefully you can agree that is a nice looking gold definitely good for uh, miniatures and I just as a quick one as a quick example um, Balthazar gold um, which was the original gold in the um, um, Games Workshop collection this is the color that is the difference absolutely massive that doesn't look like gold if you ask me um, which is the whole reason why they've gone off and released this absolutely gorgeous gold if you ask me um, they also with it as well they've done a layer as well um, liberate gold um, and this is to sort of basically highlight this color now I have been playing around with this and actually this is such a lovely perfect matching color for um, our um, gold here so um, we'll have a look at this now now I'm using the airbrush again just to kind of show you a bit let's get a bit of masking tape let's just quickly very quickly mask a little bit off here so we can sort of um, basically do a highlight with the airbrush because this is what this color is basically all about is all about giving us a highlight checking our flow and I'm just going to spray a nice highlight across here cut to wear dry it off a bit Give it a bit more. There we go. Dry that a little bit more. And then we remove. And hopefully as you can see, you know how that gives us quite a cool um, little highlight there um, with that nice sharp edge. Um, painting it is just the same, it's really good. Paints like any other Citadel paints. Um, hopefully you agree that really does give us a nice finish and as another example what I was playing with um, off camera as well I've done us a nice little space marine here uh, and I've used this gold and as you can see um, you know it does look really cool um, I just did a bit of highlighting with the airbrush and with a paintbrush with our um liberated gold there and it just kind of brings that out rather rather cool if you ask me so i am impressed and i definitely think it is a recommended color there if you're doing anything gold um i think it's most likely a miniatures color gold is really than um anything to do with aircraft or um, armored vehicles or something like that um, but yeah really really cool color um, but then we come to the price um, which again games workshop I don't like to go on about price with games workshop because it's um, a massive debate in itself but um, basically what games workshop have gone off and done is gone and basically said right here's your paint brushes that we, uh, our paints that you buy for about I think it's about two pound fifty five right um, and because we didn't get the gold right the first time round we're releasing it the second time round and getting the gold right this time but um, they feel that adding an extra pound on top and charging about three pound fifty um, is is right um, which personally I don't think that's a, a good thing for a games workshop to do because at the end of the day you know these are paints they're you know they're basically all the same this is what should have been in the paint range anyway and they're going off saying oh it's an extra pound um, mm, I, I don't like what they've done there but there you go the price is uh, £3.50 um, although it does cost a bit more than their usual paints which are already quite expensive anyway um, you know it still does the job really really good i do really like it actually um, any kind of miniatures i'd be doing now and i'm using gold will be with these paints so um yeah well recommended so um hopefully that's been uh, informative for you so until next time my name is bobby waldron this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed 
Hope you enjoyed that little mini review there of uh, Citadel's um, two new gold paints there. I personally think they're fantastic, overpriced as I mentioned, um, but there you go. Now, you guys have been voting for the past month on the forum for what is going to be the next group build here at Genesis Models due to our World War II bomber group build coming to an end. And from quite a big margin really, you guys have voted to build a... Um, carrier based aircraft what this basically means is the group build is simply going to be if an aircraft was you know used on a aircraft carrier you can build it any scale doesn't matter um, you know this does include um, helicopters if you want to um, everything from world war one to modern you know aircraft carrier and that's that's it basically so there's a massive um, range of aircraft we can do for this one i mean there's such a, a range of aircraft i might get in get in on this one uh, myself now it will start next week which is the 31st of july um, that's when you want to go to the genesis models website under um, the um, aircraft based carrier um, group build and in there you'll have the build section where you'll post your builds um, remember you would want to see you know the box itself and you know a few kind of pictures of the sprues just to kind of show that you've just started the kit and then work your way through with some nice pictures um, and then once you've finished you throw it in the final reveal section which will be the ending is the 31st of December 2015 so you've got about six months there to go off and build your aircraft um, for 2015 and then obviously um, we'll be starting the the next one 2016 so hopefully you're going to be in it for that one um, as for prizes actually I haven't actually sorted out any prizes yet but I'll get some um, sorted out for next week as well as the usual trophies and t-shirts and, and and all those kind of things so you know if you want to get in it you know it is a good idea to get started now I mean I know you've got a long time to sort of like build this kind of stuff but um, if, if we go anything by the um, world war ii bomber group build i mean it was literally down to the last two weeks where everybody just seemed to finish um you know and you don't really want to be rushing your models um you know at the last minute because you know you, you kind of skip a, a bit here and a skip a bit there and you probably might not get it as what you want so you know best to kind of get going um straight away but you can join you know mid um group build if you really want to um so that is the group build chosen by you um, i do hope you're all going to get involved with that one um next up in the show just want to have a little quick uh, uh questions and answers from you guys off the forum so questions and answers um and as you can see i've changed the camera angle and that is to answer solo's question which is about the man cave um i haven't mentioned it for a while and that's just because i've had to like get on with normal work with building the models and everything so i have kind of put it on hold a bit um what i did do is i sort of finished this end end ish as you can basically see um and i'll get on with that and um, some point in the future and loads of other stuff i want to get on with but haven't had the time to do but um as you can see and uh, got a nice bigger desk now all sorts of lighting and um better mic going on here as well um and the shelving system now um someone else asked about the um the the paint racks i've got here um basically it is just a simple wooden construction i mean there is no going off and buying this it was just um you know getting some simple wood together and basically making a frame and then putting these little shells going across which are about um something like 12 mil thick by maybe about three or four centimeters wide um, and as for the the length between um each shelf well that is something you've got to sort of go off and sort of um sort of calculate in a way um what i basically had to do was sort of um count up how many paints there are in say for example the vallejo range um and then how many of these paints could i get in one row so then i had to work out okay i've got so many paints in one row how many rows am i going to need to get the whole range in there um and then you wanted a nice height in which 
um, you're not wasting space but you've got enough space to get the paints out and, and so forth uh, especially with the Hanance paint range because uh, with the Hanance paint range their sort of indication of what color they are is actually on the lid um, you know and it's it is quite helpful um, to be able to sort of stand up and you can sort of see down and, and see those um, the um, extra acrylic paint range um, so I mean the workshop all in all um, phew, I mean hopefully by Christmas I'll be sort of finishing that and getting the proper studio desk up and everything up um, which will be that end where I'll be doing all the filming which will improve sort of like camera angles and stuff because uh, um, as you can see there is a wall <laughs> behind me here um, and I'm working facing the wall but when I'll have my um, the, the actual um, workbench um, there won't be a wall in front of me um, these paint racks will be behind me basically here as you can see and then the the workbench will be in front of me here so I can have camera angles facing me and coming in more directions and have sort of like more room for putting lighting in the right place and everything so um, it will be better when I when I do get it um, set up but for now um, you know we're nicely sort of moving along with that um next question is we got from ted usa um basically wants to know about posting videos and editing videos um because i know a lot of you that you do like to go off and sort of you know do a nice final reveal video rather than photos which is rather cool to see um, and you like to throw them up on youtube and all those kind of things um the, the way you kind of basically post a video onto the forum is really easy um, most likely you're going to be using YouTube to upload your videos and um, if you're not you probably should actually because it is the best place to go to upload your videos I mean they've got great bandwidth and everything for people to be able to watch your videos um, with no real problems at all so um, if you're going to be doing YouTube all you got to do is when you act way where, where you actually watch that video Right, all you gotta do is copy paste the actual web link where you're watching that video. Copy, and then paste it into the uh, the website. Um, and although while you when you paste it in there, all you're gonna have is this like web address. When you actually post it, it comes into a YouTube um, um, sort of box that you see where you can play the video. Um, and it is as easy as that really. Um, as for the editing side of things, um, if you want to do um, edit some of your videos, I personally I use Cyberlinks Power Director 13. Um, it can be a bit pricey, but if you do sort of search around, you can get offers um, with that um, Power Director 13, and I do like that. It is a a computer. Um, it really eats your graphics card and your CPU so you really do want a really good computer for actually editing with PowerDirect 13 um, but if you like doing amateur kind of stuff I mean there are quite a few free um, editing programs out there I know Microsoft they have their um, I forgot what it was called um, it's something like My Microsoft or Windows Movie Maker or something um you know and that's free and it is easy to use it is very basic very simple but you know for, if you're just doing say final reveals you know that's probably something you might want to start off with but i mean you know if you have got a fast computer that power director 13 is pretty good i know sony las vegas as well that's pretty good but i mean you know it does they do cost quite a bit of money and you know you're sort of going um sort of like a bit intermediate pro with those kind of programs but you can do a lot of cool stuff with with them so um hopefully that's answered a couple of your questions and answers if you've got any more questions and answers you know go on to the um webs uh, the website in the forum you've got that questions and answers section for the show if you want to ask something and i'll do my best to answer it um now we're coming to sort of the end of the show but before we sort of you know come to the end i've done a nice inbox review of a c2f grumman uh, tracker by kinetic 148 so let's take a look at that inbox review
Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be having a inbox review of Kinetics 148 scale S2F stroke EG um, tracker. Um, nice little aircraft here for some nice um, aircraft carriers. Now, just having a, a look inside here by Kinetics. Now, this is a release that was released in 2011, so it's um, quite a new ish tool. So let's have a look at our first pieces. Uh, let's get a nice good look at our surface detail. Let's bring you in here. Um, hopefully, as you can see, you know we've got some nice smooth plastic, and we do have um, some really good recessed panel lines as well as recessed rivets going on here. Um, rather, rather good surface detail. Uh, not really seeing any kind of sink marks or or anything like that. It is sort of like a. Um, it does have the option of having the wings in a folded position. Um, so we've got our. Um, the other half of the wing section where the engine section goes as well um, again the plastic looking very good there um, next sprue we have um, all sorts of bits and bobs here we have our engine section which does actually look rather rather detailed and rather rather crisp as well hopefully you've just seen in there which the engine cowl will go on top of that so you know it, you don't see all this sort of plain bits and bobs there um, as well our propellers they're looking good a little bit of flash on the propellers nothing major but just a little bit um, generally the kit doesn't have much flash at all really um, next sprue we have here is uh, let's, let's get, have a good look at our instrument display panel just here is our instrument display panel hopefully as you can see you know it's not bad for out of the box um, yeah it's it's quite well detailed indeed um, we've got some more uh, bits of surface detail here sorry out of focus a bit more bits of uh, detail there looking rather good as well um, we've got our wheel wells here um, not bad for at the box we do have like some hoses going on in there um, not massive amounts of detail but you know for out of the box it isn't bad um, we've got these um, bits of eject pin marks that are like sticking out from the actual landing gear which um, prevents having any kind of um, ejector pin marks actually on the landing gear which is rather rather good um, I do like it when they do that our front wheel well you know that's got quite a bit of detail in there um, again not bad for out of the box um, next sprue uh, let's have a look at this this is our main um, fuselage section here plastic again is very um, nice and smooth no need to kind of prep that or anything like that um, another look at some of our surface detail yeah um, recessed panel lines again you know looking quite nice quite crisp um, I wouldn't say that they're consistent though there are you know little spots here and there where it just doesn't uh, it just feels like it could do with maybe a little bit of a rescribe especially where it sort of wraps around that 90 degree angle um, it does fade um, in some places quite considerably um, which you know is something that you're going to probably have to um, work on rescribing a little bit here and there um, but then you know generally it's not that bad so um, yeah rather good inside not much detail going on inside of here um, but I do believe the you know the cockpit will build up into um, sort of like a bigger picture um, moving along we've got two identical sprues on these we have some torpedoes um, and we've got a few little bits and bobs which um, here is our seat which is looking um, immensely plain to be honest with you I mean it really could do with a livening up there so probably some scratch building is probably needed there um, and as for all the other little bits on here you know looking very good as I say the flash is very minimal um, and then we come to our last sprue which um, has got some more of our landing gear let's just turn this over see if there's any eject pin marks um, no no eject pin marks which is rather good um, so they're all good to go those um, um, <coughs> um, landing that landing gear there 
Um, we've got a wheel well door here which has got some nice um, rivet detail actually on the inside. Hopefully as you've just seen there. Um, so yeah, you know, the, the sprues are looking rather, rather good. Um, nice above average kit. Looking at the canopies as well, the canopies are looking very nice and shiny. Um, very crisp. I'm not really seeing any problems except for um, there is a little bit of some scuff marks just on the top of these two pieces here which is basically down to um, the pieces rubbing in the box but you know you could probably polish them out well you should be able to polish them out not that um, difficultly so um, you know not the end of the world um, <clears throat> then we have our decals which um, does state that they are printed by cartographer made in Italy so we know these are like the best decals in the world um, pretty much ish um, and looking at this I mean the the small print does almost look readable you know everything's in registry the colors are nice and sharp really good it does have a glossy finish to this but um, you know I don't really mine for glossy or matte anyway but yeah these should be very very good decals to go on the model um, moving along we have some um, decal instructions all right it's on some very kind of plain sort of cheapish paper um, not in color but you know it gets you there with where all the decals are and where all the markings are what colors to use and what you need to paint it <coughs> Um, moving on to the instructions, you know, again, same kind of paper quality, not that brilliant, but um, we do have colour call-outs for what is the um, the hobby colour range, sorry, the um, Mr. Mr. Colour range. Then um, inside here, basic build with this kit is going to be, um, you know, the usual two halves of the fuselage coming together, not very difficult at all. Um, engines, they look quite easy to go together as well. Um, it just kind of gets a bit tricky when you get to the, the whole, um, what is it, the, the folding wings. Um, as you can see, this is the first half of the wings. They go together like a normal kind of construction of any aircraft, really. Um, but when you get to about here, you get these sort of, it's almost like they've, I don't know, it's like the whole instructions is looking and printed in one style and then you get to the folded wings and then you've got this different style of printing and it i don't think it looks as clear as you'd want it to be so this might be a little bit tricky um i don't know maybe it, it's not so hard when you actually get there but um i don't think it's as clear as it could be um it is nice that you do get an array of weapons with this um but yeah you know it should hopefully get us there in the, hen the end with um, putting this kit together now all in all um, I mean I know kinetics they're not the best for going together there's probably going to be some filling um, gaps going on in there those kind of things but um, you know in all honesty they do go together rather well now again this is a kit release of 2011 so it's a fairly new kit um, it costs about from Hannans about 45 pounds so it's a little bit expensive but then you do get quite a lot of plastic here for your money um, and it is a very impressive kit when it is built so yeah definitely a recommended kit here at genesis models um hopefully this um video has been beneficial in deciding whether you want to buy this or not uh, just a quick pointer that Atali air does do one of these and it is exactly the same kit basically Atali air has reboxed um, this kinetic kit so uh, just throwing that note in there you can get the Atelier air kit if you want which um, i do believe is cheaper so you might want to go down that route um, but hopefully yeah it's all been good for you this um, video so until next time my name is Bob Baldwin this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed so that's the uh, tracker there by Kinetic, which is actually one of the um, group build prizes um, that I've got to be shipping out. So I thought I'd throw that in box review before it goes. Um, now, sadly, as I say, we're coming to the end of the show now. Um, so next week will be the last show before I go on holiday. So next Friday um, is the last show. And then that Saturday, the next day, I go on holiday for a week, um, remember. Um, so basically from this point on, 
till then i'm going to be working really hard on f15 because i really want to get a load of videos out for you to kind of double up for the week i'm on holiday a um, couple of inbox reviews do product reviews you know just try and get a load of videos for you to sort of make up for me um, being on holiday there now that is i do believe it was from the first of august to uh, the 7th or 8th of August or something like that and then I'll be back um, there's going to be no real problems with me being away really um, I will have my phone to sort of um, answer any me emails that come through and everything else is pretty much automated um, with the whole sort of registering PayPal and everything so uh, shouldn't be too much to worry about there so hopefully you've enjoyed the show so until next time my name is Bobby Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed Thank <laughs> you.